She's unique and special. I've never seen anything like her in my lifetime. When someone such as Hutchison's quality comes along, it really does blow everyone else out of the water. Tracy Hutchison. Tracy Hutchison. Tracy Hutchison. Tracy Hutchison. Tracy Hutchison. Definitely, is the, the Britain's most prominent art figure at the moment. And that's somebody gone in there who knows who's, who's knows a bit about how to make things look good. You know, with a, a sort of six foot circle in black, and a three foot circle in red, and some squares and lines, and and it all fitted. It all made sense. Tracy Hutchison, one of the biggest icons in Britain today and one of the most prominent figures in modern art. Famed for her unique and challenging perception of the world around her, Tracy currently has the world in great anticipation for her latest and most talked about piece. But Tracy's career began almost accidentally with a work of art that acted as a catalyst for one of the biggest success stories of the modern era. You know, you have eye tests done and I wrote, I am Tracy, you know, with letters getting smaller and smaller and put it onto my... Uh, my bedroom door and one of my father's friends um, arrived one day and, and said to my father who's who's done this and my father said my daughter my daughter did that and then I went from that I started working on on things that identify me from the I am Tracy um, under that sort of umbrella and then just worked my way working with different things, different materials. But it all started from that one thing. My main inspirations are tiny things that hit me in day-to-day -day life. Um, a few years ago, I was looking at uh, nature as, a, as an inspiration, and nature being everything all that I see, all that you see. Um, but it's, I think, more interestingly how we then see it after I've created the art. Um, I remember a time in, um, in Africa where I was on a safari with my parents, um, the time when my father was involved in, um, in, in the things that were happening over there. And I remember just feeling so in the middle of nowhere. And then there, in front of me, was an elephant. My, uh, my piece, Pose A, was, was taken from that tiny moment. Growing up, Tracy quickly got used to the limelight because of the fame of her parents. But it isn't these aspects of childhood that stick out in her memory. I mean, I, as a child, I was surrounded by so much art and culture. And I feel it just washed into me. Some people do say that you are elevated because of your history, because of your background. But I feel that that podium in which you are elevated to, you can jump off in so many different ways. Um, there was there was a time when I felt that everything was going right, and that was uh, the time that I created my piece, the Yellow Baby, and that such a glorious moment for me but that was also one of the pieces that my parents had a lot to say about and it isn't only Tracy's parents who have found certain aspects of her work to be contentious with media hype often surrounding much of her work however media attention is always of little concern to Tracy 
I have to ignore what's what's going on outside my four walls or else nothing would ever get done and like I said when I draw that straight line under my piece of work that it's finished it's finished I am Tracy and I do Tracy's work With the launch of Britain's newest modern art gallery, the White House Institute, and the unveiling of her latest artwork edging closer, we caught up with Tracy Hutchison hard at work at her studio. But, as always, Tracy prepares in her own unique and brilliant way. I know a lot of other artists who have to be in a certain state of mind, a certain mood, but I think um, that there's no particular way I prepare. I, I don't come in and have to be in a certain so, you know, I don't have to be very angry, I don't need to be passionate about it. I think what I'm really trying to get across is a lot about me. A, a lot of my art is about me, about my identity, what I do. Because I think whatever an artist does, whoever they are, it's going to be predominantly about what they feel. I think I'm going for quite a bold statement, uh, very, very vibrant, uh, with the colours especially. But I think because of that, it's, it's actually going to be one of my, um, my more timid pieces. Using both natural materials and taking a lot of stuff from, uh, from kind of the natural world to use. But I'm also um, using a lot of new modern materials to add, I think, to the real contrast. I like the contrast in pieces. Well, the thing about the White House Institute is that the art comes from within it. The, the art um, escapes, it explodes, um, and that place encapsulates everything that I, I think about art. And gallery curator Neil Bailey-Jones and his staff are working around the clock to make sure that every detail is perfect for the big launch. Welcome to the White House Institute, or um, what it will become at least, the White House Institute. So this is the space. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I, I, I scoped for a long while looking for places to open my gallery and um, I think this is the best, this is the best, the best space. I don't know if you felt this since you've been here, but it's got an energy to it. Like it's got, I, I, when I came in, when I first came in, um, I felt, I felt it bubbling up inside me, this sort of this energy that, uh, that, that the space, this activity that the space sort of uh, brings up in me. Um, it was a, a gym beforehand, so I think that's where the activity um, comes from. It's, it's an active space, it's energetic, and Tracy is active and energetic, and God knows I am. Um, why not in London? Um, oh. People keep coming back to this, but I could sit here and list 10 to 15 reasons why it's where it is. And I'd be happy to stand by all of them. I think if you look at Tracy's work, um, today she has a, although it was exhibited in London, it has a, a northern vein running through it. And I think personally that, well I too, have, I have a northern vein running through me, and I think, I think that is why the White House Institute means so much to me. And that's why it, where it is. So, sorry, I've been waffling. Um, I'll give you a straight answer. What does Tracy feel about having a work exhibit in the North? She's thrilled. Tonight we'll see the unveiling of this decade's most anticipated work of art. Tracy Hutchison brings you Star, 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 Star.